My name is Rebecca Sampi. I'm a Wola woman. This story about the emu and the crocodile, done by the Wola kids with Tiger Moor. She collected the plums and she sat down under a tree. Mole Pirani Yado, Mawago, remember Brianga. Yangan Yangan, Bra, Mawago, Yermon Yano Yobi Yanga, Maware, Penda, Ambu Yandalgo. The hunters who were hiding behind some trees saw the little chick coming nearer. As she was filling her pullman with water, the hunters threw their spears at her and killed her. Little did she know that her baby chick was dead. The second chick went down to the waterhole. The little chick looked high and low for her sister, but could not find her anywhere. The second chick filled her kulaman with water. She was making her way back to her mother when the hunters threw their spears at her and killed her. The mother was getting worried because her two chicks did not return. The mother then sent the last little chick to look for her sisters. The last little chick saw the hunters in the trees. She quickly ran back to her mother. Mommy, mommy, I saw a lot of hunters down there hiding in the trees. I can't see my sisters anywhere. I think they're dead. The mother threw the plums away, stood up and flew with rage down to the water hole. <laughs> Kill him, kill him, yelled the hunters. The water caused a flood. The hunters drowned and turned into birds. The emu could not fly anymore. This is the story of why the emu protects its chicks and why it cannot fly.